All right, how's it going, everybody? Um, girlfriend's in the shop being real noisy, so I figured I'd come out here and uh, get a little intro in. Um, yeah, so we got the uh, body slash parts truck here, and uh, I did some work and got the um, axle and leaf springs out, and I'm working on that. Uh, I was too lazy to go get the SD card, so I just was working without filming. But yeah, there you go. You see the truck there um i might add some pictures of the the trip over onto the uh on the video here and uh maybe you guys can see how much fun it was but yeah take you show you a quick look around on this one um it's a 1980s, I think it was a GMC, High Sierra. Um, my buddy wanted the badges, so I have Silverado badges for it on the outside. Um, it's got third gen Dodge seats in it, and then a High Sierra dash. Um, yeah, all bells and whistles right now. It's got a 6.5 turbo diesel and a 5 speed manual in it, and a bunch of stuff that was. Uh, done temporarily to be able to drive it. Um, let me see here. Back seat. Uh, it's actually the foam's in decent shape. The seats just all the materials come off of it. Everything matches. Kind of. Same tentative color. But yeah, this is this is the body that's going to be going on that truck. Uh, I don't think this canopy will be. But, but yeah. So I'm going to go in and get the GoPro set up and we'll time lapse the uh, process of what I got going on right now because she's being noisy. And then, um, yeah. So we'll start. I'll talk to you guys in a bit.
All right. So here's what we got. I decided to weld it in instead of you know, bolting it because I was like, well, six bolts doesn't really seem too safe for me. So I'm going to weld it in on both sides. Come around here. This, the cherry picker is supporting the back half so it doesn't flex. Um, this side's just cut out and ready to go. I've just been working on that side, getting it all welded up. Uh, I got 332 rod and it's taking, it's taking some time and I'm a little rusty at this whole stick welding stuff so but it's coming out looking all right we'll get her there keep at it in places mostly on the downhill stuff but both sides are welded on um, yeah I'll we'll come around and look at this side the top on this one came out pretty decent pretty decent and then it gets real bad on the sides but 
That'll be all right. If we're, worst case scenario, it's enough to hold everything together, and then once I get some welding gas, I can come back through with the MIG gun and uh, weld it up that way. Be a little easier than stick welding. I'm really, really, really rusty at stick welding, especially like overhead and vertical. I could do the horizontal flat, no problem, but the vertical and overhead, yeah, not so great at those. Um, okay, now I guess uh, we uh, let that cool off and then we'll get the axle in here and get it tossed up on the springs and see how we're looking. Yeah.
is here. All right, that was quite the task. Um, I'm just gonna head it in there right now because I gotta get the transmission and whatnot all put in so I can get my pinion angle correct. But I'm just gonna bolt it down so that it can be bolted in. And we can see how low it's gonna be. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. Get the U-bolts all put on and nets and whatnot and yada yada blah blah. Be a good time. Alright, there we go. I uh, trimmed the U-bolts. Because they were, well, they were not much too long. And I wasn't about to fight all that threads all the way down. And plus, they're going to be real close to the ground, so I just went ahead and trimmed them off. And now we got to do the same to this side. And then we can throw some tires on it and see how low she's going to be. Oh, God, I can't forget the bump stops. Got to put those bump stops in. Got it all put together temporarily, and uh, she's looking pretty good. She's gonna be low, that's for sure. I, you know, six eight kits pretty low turning out, but yeah, here it is. Looks pretty nice in there. I think my pinion angle is actually at a pretty good spot, but can't tell until. We get the uh, transmission and everything in, and get the drive line set up. But yeah, she's uh, she's down there, going from you know. There, that's what it was. Last time I drove it, it was that tall. To uh, that, it's a ways down. Um, from so that's four inches in the front, six inches. So that's what twelve or ten inches of total drop in the front. And I think I figured out it was fourteen. Yeah, six and eight. Yeah, fourteen inches in the rear. So it's a substantial amount of the downward traveling. And uh, yeah, 
so that's what we got. Um, I got the drive line that's in this frame is too long, so I have to shorten that drive line and then get my gas tank put in. I decided to go with the bourbon tank back here, which I have. That's the re main reason for it. But let me know what you guys think. Um, for the front, for the dually, I have the adapters, the hub adapters from a 90 Chevy that would bolt on there and then allow me to run the dually wheels. Or do I buy just the new hubs and just run dually hubs? Uh, the dually hubs are expensive. They're like 90 bucks a piece because it's a hub rotor assembly. And yeah. But uh, I think that's what I'm going to call her for now. And we're going to go in and see what how much this video is. Probably get it posted up because, yeah, I got nothing better. More, I got nothing more to do for now. And we'll go from there. So uh, if you like the videos, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, if you want to see, you want to keep up on the, the, the times on the Dooley build, uh, hit the subscribe button and then the bell will I'll notify you when I post a new video. And yeah, we'll catch you guys on the other side.